Good morning, good morning, good morning to the leader in you. This is Catherine, your host, and we are back for another edition of Good Morning to the Leader in You. Well, I hope everyone has been doing well uh, since we last connected last week. Listen, we are a couple of days away from July 1st. We are inching into the third quarter of the year. Can you believe it? That's right. The third quarter of the year. And after this quarter, it's the fourth quarter and this year is done. This is why I'm always intentional about timing and scheduling and 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 making sure you get every day an assignment because you'll look up and before you know it, the year is going to be done. And so this show is good morning to the leader in you. So we always go hard. We drive hard. Um, we work hard. We, we uh, make sure we get up in the morning. We stay focused and we are intentional about every single day. Because a lot of times if we're not intentional about what our goals are, our goals will get away from us. And, and we're going to be looking at December before we know it. So today, today, what are we talking about today? We're talking about you are not your past. You are not your past. You know, so many times individuals are stuck in their past or they allow other individuals to hold them hostage to their past, whatever their past might have been. And so I'm of the mindset that we should let our past to help build us up and to prepare us for where we're going. But we cannot stay in a mental prison of our past because a lot of times we can become a prisoner in our own mind. And so again, today we're going to be talking about you are not your past. I want you to put in your mindset right now um, situations that may be playing over and over and over again in your mind that you have not yet released. And see, when it comes to a season where we have not yet released it, therefore we are stuck in a prison. And so when we think about the word you, so it's talking about the very essence that make up who you are. So the topic today, again, you are not your past. So when we look at the word you, it is the very essence that make up who you are, the very sum total of who you are. What is your essence? What is your fragrance? What makes you you? And then when we look at the word not, it negates something. So you are not the very essence of who you are. You're not the negative thing that your mind wants to tell you. You're not the negative thing that people want to tell you. You are not your past. You negate the things that happen, although you're conscious of it to help build you and prepare you for your future. Now, when you look at the word past in definition, it talks about it's a time that has gone by. It is no longer existing. So if in fact the definition says it no longer exists, then why is it still in our present? Why is that thing still in our present haunting us? Why is that thing still in our present putting us in a prison in our mindset? So if the past is something that no longer exists, it also goes on to say the past is an elapsed in time, right? Um, it's, it also goes on to say past meaning having existed in a particular period. It also goes to say having occurred during a time previous to the present. So this is what I want us all to get to at the conclusion of this podcast is to bring everybody into the present moment. A lot of times we stay stuck in the past, even if it was yesterday, whatever happened, you got to learn how to process it as leaders. That's why we call the show. Good morning to the leader and you as leaders. We have to know how to process and move forward. Process, feel what you feel. And move forward. Process, feel what you feel. Maybe put some other parameters in place, right? So if that thing that you came out of was not the best for you as it relates to your growth and your development, then put some parameters, put some boundaries around that situation so you don't end up back in that situation. But do not stay stuck in the past because you cannot live in the present. I want you to visualize for a moment right now. What should your present moment look like? Take a moment and think about that. What should your present look like? What do you see? What are you wearing in your present moment? Even in that meeting that you have coming up that's super important to you, even with that contract that maybe you're trying to close, maybe with those family relationships you're trying to build, 
what does your present look like? What does it look like? What are you wearing? How are you showing up in the present? How are you being in your present? Think about it. Because how you show up in your present and how you be in your present has everything to do if you're allowing the past to still be in your present. Because the way you maneuver, the way you talk, the way you conduct yourself, it all shows if you're still acting out of a a reflection of your past. See, the past has reflectors. And sometimes if we are not careful, we allow the past reflectors to enter into our present. And when it enters into our present, it shows up at the business meeting. It shows up when you're at a local event. It shows up in any and everything you do. It shows up in your posture. Is your past causing your posture to be out of sync? Is your past causing your posture to hunch over? You know, individuals that sometimes develop that back problem and they're, you know, they're hunching over. Has your past caused you to hunch over and not opposed to standing up straight and strong and looking at whoever you need to look at eyeball to eyeball and say, you know what? This is who I am. I am not my past. My past build me. My past prepared me. But I am not my past. I am my present. So I ask you again, how are you showing up in your present? Now, when we look at the word build, the word build means to fortify. How are you fortifying yourself? How are you arming yourself? How are you building your heart, your mind, your spirit, man? How are you building yourself up every single day? What are those building blocks for you to fortify yourself? That way, when those reflections of the past want to come into your present, Your wall is so fortified, it's able to knock it back to the past. What are you building? What are you fortifying? What tools are you using to fortify your building? You, you are your temple. What, what tools are you using? And then the word prepare means to train. What training are you going through? You know, are you getting any coaching? Are you getting any development? Or are you self-studying? Self-studying is a great way of training as well. But what, if anything, are you doing right now in the present? Not what we did a year ago. Not what we did two years ago. Not what we did a month ago. Because every single day we have to renew our mindset. Every single day we have to renew how we think. Every single day we have to renew our business operations for those business owners that's tuning in. What does your business operations look like and how are you preparing yourself? How are you preparing your business? What day of the week do you use to prepare for the week for your business? What day of the week do you plug into trainings to help increase your knowledge? Right. I'm enrolling into a whole new training program myself. I got to constantly be educating myself. I got to constantly be adding new tools in my arsenal. So I can stay fortified, not only personally, but I can stay fortified for my business so my business can stay on the cutting edge. How are we fortifying ourselves? How are we educating ourselves? How are we growing? How are we building? Again, for those just tuning in now, maybe you just received the link. You are not your past. Again, your past helped to build you. It helped to prepare you. Do not stay in that mental prison because when you're in a mental prison, that means You're looking at that trailer of that time period in your life over and over again. How many of us will watch a trailer a couple of times before we decide to watch the full movie? And sometimes that's what we're doing. We have trailers compartmentalized in our mind of different time periods of our past. And we're playing these clips over and over and over again. And it, it is now so inwedded to who we are that it has oozed into our present. It has filtrated the wall because the, the wall wasn't fortified. Your wall wasn't fortified. Your boundaries wasn't fortified. Maybe it's individuals around you that's not healthy for you. Maybe they're toxic. They're, they're getting through your fortified wall. You need to build your wall up again. Build your wall up again. Fortify your mind, fortify your heart, build up your spirit, man, and then train. Get your mind in training mode. Pick up a book that's in your industry that can help propel your business to the next level. You are not your past. You're conscious of your past. You are aware of what happened, obviously, 
but don't allow it to hold you in a mental prison. Again, you, the very essence of who you are, not negating any negative thing that's trying to come into your present. Your past is just that. It is from a previous time period, a specific period in time that your past cross that situation that did cause harm to you because we're not going to play like it didn't cause harm if it in fact did but look at what happened in that situation that brought the harm and now look at how it has built you look at how it can propel you forward look at how you can move forward again we are a couple of days away from july 1st how are we going to go into the third quarter I want us to think about that. How are we going to go into the third quarter? Take a moment and think about it. Are we going to go into the third quarter still bringing our past into our present? Are we going to go into the third quarter with our walls not being fortified? Are we going to go into the third quarter not signed up for any additional training that can educate our mindset. Are we going to go into the third quarter not understanding our core essence? Are we going to go into the third quarter negating every negative thing that's been said? Let that be you. That last one that I said, let that be you. Negate everything that's contrary to your present and where you're going. I want you to write down some affirmations on how you're going to walk into the third quarter. I want you to write down some affirmations on how you're going to execute in the third quarter. I want you to write down some affirmations on what goals that you will accomplish in the third quarter. And then I I want you to go to work. I want you to execute. Not for me, not for nobody else. This execution is all about you. This execution is all about you breaking through those mental barriers in your own mind. This next level is all about you getting out of that prison of your mind. And it's about you walking into the essence of who you are. It's about negating every negative thing. It's about building up your wall so you can be fortified. And it's about pouring knowledge into your mindset. So as you execute in the industry that you're in, you will do it flawlessly, authentically, and you will have impact ultimately at the end. Because see, the measure of you walking in your essence, it equals also to you coming out of your past. Because we can't truly walk into our essence if we're stuck in the past. Only reference the past for teachable moments. Maybe you're a speaker, maybe you're an author or anything like that. Maybe you reference your past to encourage someone else. That's totally fine. But don't allow the past to have a hold over you. When you allow the past to have a hold over you, you actually negate, you go against, you oppose your core essence. And with that being said, we're going to get ready to wind down this episode on today. But I just want you to think and I want you to reflect as this music play, reflect on your core essence, reflect on you walking out of your past. Again, if anyone needs my assistance uh, around strategic planning, send me an email, ct at katherinetrotter.com. I'm going to see everybody at the top and see everyone next week for the next podcast. Good morning to the leader in you.